Hey there all craft beer lovers, very much welcome to another beer review. For this time around we are heading to the UK to Siren Craft Brewery. Uh, I haven't had a beer from Siren in ages. We're taking a look at their Pompel Mocello, described as a juicy grapefruit sour IPA. Weighing in at 6%, 440 mil can. There you go, uh, they say a zingy sour IPA, bursting with juicy grapefruit sensation, vibrant, pithy hops like talus, mosaic and equanaut, layer up flavor and tactful bitterness, but we also add grapefruit juice and zest for good measure. Lactose runs thing out with a sweet and smooth touch. 6% 440 mil can guys from Siren, there you go, let's give it a pop, see what we get, kind of a nice looking uh, artwork on the can, definitely stands out uh, on the shelves, right, there we go, see what we get, a little bit of smoke, so yeah, I haven't had a beer from Siren in a very long time actually, they're doing really good beers, okay, let's see how this one holds up, doesn't be, seem to be very carbonated. Okay. Look at that. I mean, yeah, let's start. Stop. I mean, let's stop right there. So basically no head whatsoever. Just, a, you know, a couple of millimeters of head. Super carbonated. Still very clear, very transparent. As you can see, golden color. Looks nice. Okay. Nice look on the nose. See what we get. Oh, grapefruit galore on the nose. Yes, yeah, certainly grapefruit. Slight of a slight bready note to it as well. It smells very nice, guys. It smells very nice. With that said, let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everybody. That's nice. That's a really, really nice uh, grapefruit IPA. Sour IPA at that. Certainly acidic, sour, lovely grapefruit aroma and taste. Again, this is actually very, very nice. This could be a lovely summer refresher. Mm. It's got a really, really nice balanced sourness to it. Which of course makes it a little bit more crowd pleasing if you get if you catch my drift. Easy drinking, easy going, but with a lovely sourness, not too much. Certainly balanced, nice breadiness to it as well from the malt. Dry back end. But the emphasis is certainly on that grapefruit aroma and taste. Uh, for me, this is kind of a belting beer. This is something you could just, you know, drink and drink and drink. 6%, so you have to be a little bit careful, of course. It's not a session beer. Perhaps to some, I don't know, not for me anyways. Uh, there we go, choke uh, the can a little bit, generate a little bit more head. Lovely look, but it's still basically the same look to it. Final sip, guys. Mmm. I like it. I like it. It's got a lovely acidity. Nothing, uh, I mean, it's certainly more of a crowd pleasing acidity. Uh, and I think that's basically the point of this beer. So this uh, this is not a extreme sour. It's not a, you know, extreme craft beer, uh, non-brewery sour beer. But this is more of a, a crowd-pleasing beer. But they managed to get that beer to be exactly what it is and what they advertise on that can. It's a sour IPA, juicy grapefruit sour IPA. Lovely grapefruit notes. You got the IPA notes. A little bit of a bitter dry back end to it. Slight maltiness, but that what's dominating it has a lovely grapefruit vibe. It's very drinkable, very crushable. An excellent summer beer. For me... It's a little bit on the uh, more kind of crowd pleasing side of things and nothing, not really that craft niched beer, but I like it. Uh, for uh, 3.75 out of 5, definitely to be recommended. Thank you for watching.